grab your drink, roll your papers, wind down, or speed up and get to work. It's your girl Shan with season six of She Gets a Podcast. I'm with all of y'all as we navigate this new world we got. We are all adjusting to these new changes. Let's go. What up, y'all? It's your girl Shan, aka Mommy Rocky. Welcome to She Gets a Podcast. This is season six, New World, because that's what we in. Episode 19. We talking Grip Squad. Shout out to Talk is Talk Podcast. Uh, they had an episode the other day that I was listening to, and they were talking about Grip Squad and the meaning of ladies and this punane. That's what we're talking about. All right. Maybe you might want to put in your headphones. Ladies, okay, I'm talking to y'all. Sis, sis, can I talk to you for a moment, sis? Our bodies are ever-changing, right? There are so many people craving a doctor that will quote-unquote fix it. What can us ladies do to keep that life grip gripping? And that's what I'm talking about. Pull up a seat. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, ladies. I got 10 ways to strengthen that punane, a.k.a. that yoni, that pearl, your vagina, your purse, whatever you want to call it, the snatch. I'm going to give you 10 ways on how to tighten it, keep it healthy, and keep it gripping. All right? First things first, do your pelvic tilt exercises where you put your back straight up, stand straight up. You know, you can lay down also. Breathe in like you're sucking in your belly button to your back, to the back of your spine. Suck it in and breathe out. Do that at least 10 times a day, five times a week. And that's going to help strengthen your pelvic muscles to where you can grip a dick, release a dick, grip a dick, release a dick. Help yourself, help him, or help her. I don't know what y'all choosing out here. I just hope that we all choosing because... Sex is a choice and not a job. All right. Second thing, aloe vera gel is a good natural vagina wash that can help dryness. So if there are any ladies out there dealing with any type of dryness, no matter what your age, what your size, if you have a vagina and you are over 16 or 18, in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s, in your 50s, or your 60s, and you want a little help that's natural with dryness, try the aloe vera gel as a um, wash, okay? Dilute it. Do a natural wash, okay? The vagina is a natural cleansing thing, okay? A place of magic. Don't go crazy. Don't go ham. Be nice to her, okay? She's the alpha and the omega. Be nice to her, and she will then be great to you. Third thing, do your Kegels. They are they have Kegel balls that you can squeeze and lift within your vagina, okay? They have um, objects that will hang halfway out. And be halfway in. That'll help strengthen your vagina floor. You can leave Kegels, Kegel balls, within your vagina for um, four to six hours a day. Okay? Anything more with that will be very extensive. Some people keep them in while they're having intercourse. I wouldn't. 
some people keep their yoni eggs in while having intercourse. I wouldn't, but that depends on your yoni. That's your thing. You can know what she needs, what she can control, okay? Fourth thing you need to do is drink more water. Drink healthy water. Good balanced pH water, not distilled water, not pipe water, not flavored water, not salsa water. Good, refreshing, rejuvenating water, okay? I don't even really go for vitamin water because of somebody having the control to put something in my water when all my water needs to say is spring water, okay? And come from a natural spring, Number five, wear breathable underwear or don't wear no underwear. And if you're not wearing no underwear, don't be wearing no jeans and having the seam of the jeans riding up between her lips because you're going to be raw on a whole different type of level. If you're not going to wear drawers, wear a sundress. If you're feeling like today is going to be the day of clappery, clappery when your cheeks applaud you all day in that dress, Cool, do your thing. Hope you're not an HR issue. But wear breathable underwear. For me, I think lace underwear is cute, it's sexy, right? I even seen Rihanna has some Fenty crotchless lace panties, which I've been eyeing. Why? I don't know. But something about wearing panties on the front and the back and having your yoni blowing in the wind. Ah, it's doing something for me, so I might have to pick up some of her crossless lace underwear. But my yoni, my punani, does not like lace underwear. It irritates her, so I don't do lace. Um, that stretchy underwear, um, that seamless, sometimes that gets on my nerves too. She, she will soak that thing, okay? So I try to just stick to my cotton underwear. I like V-strings because I like the way that it's cut. I hate boy shirts because it cuts off like um, your booty cheek in the middle. I like boxer briefs in the house when I'm chilling. And just that's like my panty life. But women, we need to wear breathable underwear. And be mindful of where you buy your underwear. When you're buying your underwear, you should be washing your underwear before you put it on. Also with your daughters, they should be washing their underwear before they put it on. And teach your daughters not to throw their underwear on the floor. Teach your daughters to wash their underwear themselves by hand. Okay? We're building character here. We're building character. Number six, eat healthier foods. Eat your, um, you know, your foods that's going to cleanse the body. You know, drink your celery water, eat your cucumbers, eat your salads, eat your spinach, eat your kale, drink your water, eat your sweet potatoes, eat your string beans. You know, you want to be keeping your body a flushing and a flowing, okay? Number seven. Pregnancy stretches that thing, okay? Pray about that get back. If it's stretched back and it puts itself back and it comes back like a brand new slinky, you good money. But if it's not after your seventh kid, your seventh big head kid, then you may want to look for some other options, some natural herbal options that may snatch that thing back to life. And if you can't, Some women do go to doctors now and get like a snip snip to get it back quick, quick. If you feel like that's where you got to go because something is flabbing in the wind, cool. Go ahead and do that. But do it for you. Don't do it for your man. Don't do it for the the young 20-year-old you're eyeing because you have a lot of energy. Don't do it because you're having a midlife crisis. Really do it if it's something that really would make you feel better and really eats at your um, confidence and your pride within yourself. (sighs) Number eight, vaginal weightlifting. Yes, that's a thing. 
it's ammy balls that go halfway inside like i was saying earlier and go halfway outside of the vagina and when the muscles contract that's when it works okay so it's gonna allow your muscles to naturally be able to contract and 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 practice that that way when something is in there you can grab it like the vice grip that we know is within okay practice that number nine we're almost at number 10 guys hold on number nine be with a person that makes your pussy pulsate their smell their touch the fact that they're calling you their voice they're intelligent if it makes you shift within great that's a keeper if your yoni b2k bump 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 that means you with the correct person that your yoni is feeding for as a woman, all right? If it floats your boat, let it rock your ship, okay? That's how you know the right person will make that thing jump, jump. The Mac Daddy with you. Jump, jump. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> all right, so we at number 10. Number 10. When in doubt, suck it out, ladies, Okay? I'm not telling you to get on your um, mega knees, but I'm, what I'm telling you is either you got to lay down or you got to bow down or you got to kneel on the bed on top of your topper if your knees got a little experience on it, okay? When in doubt, suck it out. This is not the time of your life to be talking about, oh, I don't suck dick. Well, I'm not putting my mouth on that. Listen, if you're not interested in putting your mouth on his cargo, on his driver, you shouldn't be fucking him in the first place, all right? If pussy grip won't suck him with the mouth grip, like that mouth grip do, talk out what y'all need from each other talk out your knees with that person and work it out and you're gonna have to suck him off until you can get that yoni right okay until you can figure out why y'all not you know having that chemistry that's naturally supposed to be there that chemistry shouldn't be forced that chemistry shouldn't be um convinced it should be a natural energy frequency that both of you are on that is meshing the whole time not partially not oh i was feeling it an hour before but i'm not feeling it now so that's a no for me and men please be able to take a no women please be able to take a no his no doesn't necessarily mean that he's gay maybe there's something that's coming out of that yoni that's just not right to him and he's rejecting it today maybe you could try a different day all right but i feel like ladies if we treat that yoni right she gonna get right remember the grip squad is within do everything you can to keep your yoni healthy to keep that thing gripping and snatching exercise i think sit-ups help also um squats sometimes squats work depends on what i'm wearing depends on what the heat is like but you can always feel your pelvic muscles working when they're working at least i can i wish y'all the best continue to have great sex relationships are not all about sex but I would say that is that's at least 59% of it. Enjoy. Peace. That's a wrap. That's another show. Thank you for staying. Thank you for listening. Thank you for checking out. She gets it. There is a merch available for you guys to shop at on teespring.com. The link will be in the info section she gets it shop is on there also please don't forget to add me follow me on ig and twitter she gets it pod all right hashtag she gets it you'll find me trust me on fb facebook don't forget 
to add the page, She Gets It Pod. Join the She Gets It affiliates. I would love to have you in there to discuss episodes, discuss thoughts, get that feedback. And please, please don't forget to rate the episode, rate the show. Um, I just want to know, like, am I going in a direction that you guys, you know, are learning something from? Is it something you want to learn more about? I would love to hear y'all feedback. I love the fact that you guys support and listen to me blab and run my mouth. And if you just want to support the show, go to anchor.fm slash she gets it slash support. Thank you. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace. What's so special about Hero Bread's soft, fluffy, and delicious breads, buns, and tortillas? These ultra low net carb baked goods contain zero sugar, fewer calories, and more protein than the leading brands and are high in fiber to support gut health. Shop now at Hero.co.